Hey guys, Luke from LukeDemarco.com here. Welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you iPhone and iPod Touch users how to jailbreak the 3.0 firmware upgrade if you're running it on your iPod. I'm running it here. Uh, it was just released Wednesday this week and there's Spotlight there. And uh, today um, Red Snow was released by the dev, dev team. So I'm going to show you how to simply jailbreak your iPhone or iPod running the 3.0 firmware uh, so you can install Cydia and uh, all those other neat, neat, cool uh, tweaks and tricks you can do when Cydia is installed. So you're going to need a few things. The first thing you're going to need is obviously you're going to need an iPod Touch or an iPhone. This will work on uh, I believe all the, all the devices except the iPhone 3GS. So unfortunately if you have an iPhone 3GS uh, hang in there the jailbreak will be out soon but uh, iPhone first generation, 3G, iPod Touch first gen, iPod Touch second gen, this will all work for you just as long as you're running the 3.0 software upgrade. You're going to need a hard file of the 3.0 firmware, the ISPW file. So um, if you do not have this file because you updated in iTunes, you can go over to the description and there will be a link. Uh, there will be a few links and uh, just click the link with your that uh, corresponds with your device. Be sure to download with Firefox. Do not download these with Safari because it screws up the firmware or it's, it screws up the uh, download and it makes things a lot more com uh, complicated. And once that's downloaded, you should get a file that uh, looks like this iPod or iPhone 213 and it'll be an IPS, a dot IPSW file. And that's what you want. So once you get that, you're good to go. So the third thing you're going to need is you're going to need the program called Red Snow. Now, if you want Red Snow, the official torrent links will be in the description. This works on Windows and Mac. This is how to jailbreak your uh, iPhone or iPod on Windows or Mac. Um, keeping in mind that these are torrent files, so you're going to need a torrent program to download them. For Windows, I'd suggest uh, BitTorrent or BitLord or uTorrent, all free torrenting programs. And for uh, Mac OS X, I'm, I'm just using a program called Transmission here. Very simple, very easy. The Red Snow file, it's a zip file, and it's only like 13 megabytes. It'll take you like a minute to download. However, that, uh, that firmware file, if you do not have it on your computer, it'll take about a good 40 to 50 minutes to download because it's the excess of 220 megabytes, I think. So once you've got all these running on your computer, what you need to do is extract the Red Snow with an archiving program and then install it. So it's a very simple install. Just install the program on your computer. I'm just going to open up my applications folder here. And let's see if it's in here. Well, I, I know it's in the Finder, so I'll just go to Finder. Right here, right at the bottom, let me just zoom in so you guys can see that. That's the, uh, that's the logo for it. It's a pineapple and it says Red Snow under it. I'm just going to zoom out here. I'm going to give you guys a pretty good shot of my screen here. So at the current time, my iPod is connected to your computer. So make sure that your iPod or iPhone is connected to your computer via the USB cable and iTunes is not open. So that's iTunes is not open. So open up Red Snow. It'll say, uh, please read all the accompanying text documents that were contained so that uh, when you downloaded the, the uh, program, it would have given you a bunch of readme text and stuff like that. So it asks, please select a corresponding IPSW file for your current firmware. Now we have that, remember, because we downloaded it from uh, the, the site uh, depositfiles.com. So now what you want to do is click Browse. Might be a little slow here. And then uh, navigate to wherever you saved the IPSW file. So it's, uh, mine's just on my desktop. And then click it. Give it a bit little. It's a 200 megabyte file. And then click Open. It will then say processing the firmware right there, processing, processing, and then it'll say IPSW successfully identified. So you move here. Now I'm just going to click next, and it'll say preparing the jailbreak. Ooh, that was pretty quick. And then it'll say please select which options you would like to have. And down at the bottom here, there's only one option, and that's install Cydia, and that is what we want to do. We want to install Cydia. So I'm just going to click next. Please make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer. If it is not off, plug the devi device into the computer first, then hold down the power button for the edge of the device until the slide to power unlock comes up. Now, this means this means that make sure that your device is plugged in your computer and that your device is fully shut down. So I'm going to shut down my device right now. So you see it's on right now. I'm going to slide to unlock 
and then we're going to hold down the power button just the power button at the top until this screen comes off slide to power off and I'm going to fully shut down my iPod Wait till the screen goes black there a little bit of a loading thing right there we're still waiting for my iPod to shut down oh it's shut down now so that's perfect alright let's let's get on the road so now that your iPod or iPhone is successfully shut down completely what you want to do is click let me just zoom in white balance is not going good for me today click next and then please use the following instructions to enter DFU mode so you're gonna have to enter DFU mode and to enter DFU mode what you need to do is hold down the let me just zoom out all the way here hold down the top button the power button up here and the home button for 16 seconds and then release the power button keep holding the home button until you until you your iPod is recognized and then the computer will say waiting for it to reboot your screen will turn white and the initialization will start and it'll just reboot it a bunch of times and install Cydia right now on the iPod it's saying downloading the jailbreak data I'm not sure if you can see that and it's uh, doing some stuff on my computer as well uploading RAM disk and stuff like that progress bar at the bottom uploading kernel rebooting done as you can see that and now we're just waiting for our device to reboot so as you see here it says flashing NOR it's got the pineapple which is the um, the dev kind of jailbreak universal logo sync uh, syncing file systems on the iPod and the jailbreak and rebooting so here you go we're rebooting the Apple symbol might take a little longer to reboot the first time because this is the first time rebooting with the new jailbreak firmware so it might take a little longer than usual to reboot your device and here you go ladies and gentlemen we're gonna slide to unlock and as you see on our last page right there we have Cydia installed so this is the 3.0 firmware so as you see I've got spotlight and I've got voice memos um, as well as I've got, I've got uh, Cydia now right here so there's Cydia and just to show you when you did this this did not erase your all your files and stuff so see I've, I've still got all my songs here on my iPod and I've still got all my applications but now I have a new application called Cydia at which you can uh, do all the cool stuff you need with all the cool stuff Cydia has to offer so that's how to jailbreak the iPod and iPhone 3.0 firmware that just came out last Wednesday this is Luke from LukeDemarco.com reminding you to rate comment and subscribe and if you have any other questions please feel free to email me at ldemarco at dimco.ca and uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys.